Tar is a thick black sticky substance that has been used for centuries in construction, waterproofing, road paving, and even medicinal applications. But how exactly is tar made? The process of making tar depends on the raw materials used as tar can be derived from coal, wood, or petroleum. Each type of tar has distinct properties and applications, but the fundamental process involves heating organic material to extract the desired compounds. This process is known as pyrolysis, which is the thermal decomposition of organic material in the absence of oxygen. By heating materials like coal or wood in a controlled environment, volatile compounds are released, leaving behind tar and other byproducts. The end result is a viscous liquid that can be processed further to meet specific industrial needs. In this video, we will explore the different methods of tar production, how it has evolved over time, and how it is used in modern applications right here on History of Simple Things. One of the oldest and most traditional forms of tar is wood tar, which has been used for thousands of years, particularly in shipbuilding and waterproofing. Wood tar is produced by slowly heating wood, typically pine, birch, or other resin-rich trees, in a low-oxygen environment. Historically, this was done using a process called destructive distillation, in which logs were stacked inside a pit or kiln and then covered to restrict airflow. The wood was then set on fire, but because of the limited oxygen, it did not burn completely. Instead, the heat caused the wood to break down, releasing gases and liquids that condensed into tar. This method was widely used in Scandinavia, where wood tar was essential for coating wooden ships to protect them from rot and water damage. Today, Wood tar is still produced using modern distillation equipment, and it finds applications in traditional crafts, skin treatments, and even as a flavoring agent in certain foods. Another major source of tar is coal tar, which is obtained through the destructive distillation of coal. This process takes place in coke ovens, where coal is heated to extremely high temperatures, typically between 900 and 1,200 degrees Celsius, in the absence of oxygen. The goal of this process is to produce coke, a crucial material used in steel making, but a byproduct of this process is coal tar. As the coal breaks down under heat, it releases volatile gases and liquids, which are collected and condensed. The resulting coal tar is a dense black liquid that contains a mixture of hydrocarbons, phenols, and other chemicals. Coal tar is then further refined into useful products such as creosote, a wood preservative, and pitch, which is used in roofing and paving. Additionally, coal tar derivatives have been used in medicinal treatments, particularly for skin conditions like psoriasis and eczema. The third primary source of tar is petroleum tar, commonly known as bitumen or asphalt. This type of tar is derived from crude oil and is mainly used in road construction and waterproofing applications. Petroleum tar is obtained during the refining of crude oil, specifically during the process of distillation and vacuum distillation, where the heavier components of crude oil are separated from lighter fractions such as gasoline and diesel. What remains is a thick, viscous residue known as bitumen. Unlike wood tar and coal tar, which are produced through thermal decomposition, bitumen is a naturally occurring heavy fraction of petroleum. It can be further processed to achieve different grades of viscosity and hardness, depending on its intended use. In road construction, bitumen is mixed with aggregates like gravel and sand to create asphalt, a durable material that provides a smooth, waterproof, and resilient surface for roads. Additionally, bitumen is used in roofing materials, adhesives, and even in some waterproof paints. Throughout history, tar has played an essential role in various industries, from ancient shipbuilding to modern infrastructure. In ancient times, 
Civilizations such as the Mesopotamians and Egyptians used natural bitumen for waterproofing boats, buildings, and even for medicinal purposes. The Greeks and Romans further advanced the use of tar in construction and road building. During the Industrial Revolution, the large-scale production of coal tar and wood tar allowed for new applications, including the development of synthetic dyes, antiseptics, and industrial coatings. By the 20th century, petroleum-based tar became the dominant form due to the rise of the oil industry and the demand for asphalt in road construction. Today, the production and refinement of tar continue to evolve, with modern techniques focusing on improving efficiency and reducing environmental impact. One of the major challenges associated with tar production is its environmental impact. The extraction and processing of tar, especially coal tar and petroleum tar, produce pollutants such as volatile organic compounds, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and sulfur compounds. These substances can pose risks to human health and the environment if not properly managed. For example, coal tar has been classified as a carcinogen due to its high concentration of PAHs, which can contaminate soil and water if not handled correctly. Similarly, the production of bitumen from crude oil is an energy-intensive process that contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. To mitigate these issues, industries are exploring alternative materials and sustainable production methods. Some companies are developing bio-based alternatives to traditional tar using plant-derived resins and renewable resources. Additionally, advancements in recycling technology have made it possible to reuse asphalt from old roads, reducing the need for new bitumen production. Despite these environmental concerns, tar remains an essential material in modern society. Its waterproofing properties make it indispensable in roofing, road construction, and industrial applications. In medicine, coal tar continues to be used in dermatological treatments, while wood tar has found niche applications in cosmetics and natural remedies. The versatility of tar ensures that it will continue to be a valuable material, but future advancements will likely focus on making its production more sustainable and environmentally friendly. As technology evolves, researchers are exploring new ways to refine and utilize tar more efficiently, including methods to extract valuable chemicals from tar waste and develop cleaner alternatives. Tar is a complex and versatile substance that has been used for centuries in various industries. Whether derived from wood, coal, or petroleum, the process of making tar involves heating organic material to extract valuable components. While traditional methods such as wood distillation were used for waterproofing and shipbuilding, modern industrial processes have made tar an essential material for infrastructure and manufacturing. However, the environmental impact of tar production has led to new research into sustainable alternatives and cleaner refining techniques. As industries continue to evolve, the role of tar will likely shift toward more environmentally friendly applications, ensuring that this age-old material remains useful in the modern world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.